Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In my previous video, I showed you how to implement key rebinding in Unity so that users can change their key bindings. But one issue is that when you stop running the game and start it up again, they're all lost. So in this video, we'll be implementing a save button where we can save our key bindings to a file and then we can load them back up when you start running the game again. One final thing to mention is that according to YouTube analytics, only 20% of you who are watching are actually subscribed. So if you're wanting a quick and easy way to help support the channel, just go down below, hit the subscribe button and that would really help a lot. That's it for now, so I hope you're looking forward to it and let's get to the video. So like you saw in the intro, and if you remember from the previous video, we have a simple character controller, we can walk in the different directions, and we can hit spacebar to jump. And if I was to click on the space button, I can hit a different key, like the J key. J is now jump. If I hit J, I jump. And if I hit space, it no longer jumps. But if I was to stop running and start running the game again, it will lose that key binding because I currently have no way of saving it. So I think the first thing to do is to jump into the scene and we should make ourselves a save button. So I'm going to go to the button we already have. I'm just going to duplicate it and move it out of here. So we've got a button separately and we'll just move it down a bit. So we can put it here, doesn't matter too much. And you can of course make this look however you like. We'll call it the save button so we don't get confused. And we'll call this the save button text. And we'll change the text to say save on it. Now currently the save button when we click on it will start rebinding. So we do want to change what function this is hooked into, but that's fine for now. Let's go and open the code for the rebinding display. So we need to create a method for that button to call to save our key bindings. So to do that, we need to make a public method, public void, it returns nothing. And we'll just call it save. It can be to save our key bindings. So luckily for us, the Unity input system has a nice method we can call that will return to us a string, which will be all of our key bindings. And all we need to do is save that to a file. And then when we need it later, we just load it back up and shove it back into the input system. So let's make a string rebinds and we want to go grab this. So if we say up here, we have the player controller. So player controller dot player input. So you need reference to a player input component. And then we can say dot actions. And then there's a method on here, save binding overrides as JSON. And this method is actually a new method. So if you're on an old version of the input system, you may not have this, it's quite new. And just to make sure you're on the same version, Let's jump back into Unity and I'll go and show you my package manager. So if we go window, package manager, mm -hmm. I'm using 1.1.0 preview two. So depending on when you're watching this, just make sure you're on version 1.1 or higher. So if by the time you're watching this, it's not in preview anymore, that's fine. It was added in 1.1. And if you don't see preview packages, make sure to go to advanced and enable preview packages. So now we can go back into our code so now we want to save this string to a file and we've got many ways of doing this. You could, like I just said, save it to a file or you could save it to some cloud storage or database so that if you swap PCs, then your key bindings are still saved. You could load them up there or you can just use something like player prefs, which is what we're going to do because we're just saving a simple string. We'll use player prefs. Normally for complex game data, you won't want to use that, but this is simple. It's just a string. So we can say player prefs dot set string. And we just need a key and a value. So the key is how we load it up later. We'll just set the key as rebinds. And then the actual value are our rebinds. So rebinds. And that's literally it for saving. We just grab the string and we save it to a file. The loading is the harder part. It's not too difficult. We want to load it on start, or at least we do in my case. So I'm going to make a private void start. And then what do we want to do? We want to load up this string that we saved to file. So let's say string rebinds equals, and then we go into player prefs and we want to get a string and we have to give the key so it knows what to get. So the key is rebinds. And then the value is a default value here. So if it fails to get this thing, let, let's imagine we load up the game for the first time. We haven't got any rebinding saved. What should this value be? I'm just gonna say string.empty. Keep in mind, you can also make a variable for this rebind string so you don't accidentally type it wrong. We could just make a const like uh, private const string. We can call it uh, rebinds key equals rebinds. And then we can just paste that in here and here so that we don't accidentally do it wrong in either of the places. 
And then once we've got our string, like I said, it could be an empty string. So we'll say if string dot is null or empty, rebinds, then return. So we'll basically say if there aren't any saved, then just ignore it. But if it's not null or empty, then it means we do have key bindings that we've loaded up and we'd like to apply them. So we want to do the opposite of save binding overrides as JSON. So we can say here, uh, player controller dot player input dot actions. And then we can say load binding overrides from JSON, passing in the rebinds. Now we can actually go test this now. We're not completely done, but it's almost there. And what we can do is we can go to the save button and change the function from start rebinding to be save. Let's hit play and see if it works. So right now, if I hit space, it jumps. And if I hit J, it jumps. If I hit save, close it, reopen it, what will happen? The UI still says say space to jump, but if I hit space, it no longer jumps. And if I hit J, it does jump. So what's happened now is that the rebinding has actually occurred and it's loaded up from file correctly. The UI just hasn't updated. That's the final step is just to make this update when we, when we start up the game. So back over in VS Code, we want to do the same thing that we do when we rebind our keys in the first place. What we do is we say when rebinding is complete, do this. This is what updates the UI. So we could put this into a separate method and you know call this here and call it elsewhere. But just for the simplicity of doing this, I'm just going to copy paste it. I know it's a little bit lazy, but if we put this here, what it's going to do is it's going to say, after loading it, go get this index, go find the human readable string for it, and then update the binding text. So you'll recognize this code if you watched the previous video where we actually did the rebindings. And you can also go to GitHub and get all this code anyway. It's, it's going to be on my GitHub repository under input system tutorials. And then now if we hit play, because I have the J key saved, it should actually change that to the J key. Yeah. And if I change it back to, let's say, well, we'll choose a different key. We'll say the N key. N is now jump. Space is not jump. J is not jump. It's only N. And if I hit save, stop running, start running, it should load it back up as N. Yep. And if I N, the character jumps. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want to see next. Thanks always for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. But of course, before I go, I've got to thank my patrons. A special thanks to Francisco Lira, Liz Kimber, Andrew Williams, Birdodai, Benjamin Hilder, David McDermott, Farouk, Jake Nixon, Yoris Letter, Katinka Mom, Matt Fryer, Mike Troop, Sam Marcus, Malvin, and Rack. If you'd like to help support the channel monetarily, link to my patrons down below. If not, there are also links down below to other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. If you could help us out by following on any of those or sharing our videos or any of that, that'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.